Well, have you ever considered trekking across 137 miles of wilderness? If that wilderness was in the middle of the Arctic? Sounds like a great idea. One professor and an adventurer uh, is starting that trek in Iceland. It, it's his continuing effort to show everyone how the Earth is changing. Well, traveler and explorer Aaron Doring joins us live this morning to talk about his latest journey. Aaron, good morning. Thanks for coming back on the show to talk about your latest mission. This mission is in Iceland. What are you hoping to find or show? Well, bottom line is that we're going to Iceland, and I've never been there before, 10th time back to the Arctic, and we're going to be looking at mainly geothermal energy and how they're using it within this country. And then second is truly, I mean, it's canary in the coal mine of looking at how the climate is changing within this region. It's warming up in that area. Um, literally, they're losing a Olympic pool of glaciers every single day, and that's been for the last uh, two decades. So, Aaron, you have some new ways of sharing your journey. Tell us about some of the equipment that you'll have with you. Exactly. So, you know, we're pull team, so we're pulling the sled with everything behind us. And this year, we're, off, we're taking a drone, so we'll get some aerial views, and we're also doing the QTBR, the 360. And so, in addition to, you know, your food, your fuel, and everything you need to survive on the land, we have all this technology so that we can connect with literally millions of students around the world. Well, this isn't your first expedition across the Arctic. What did you find when you traveled across northern Canada last year? You know, the, the biggest thing there, actually, is... Um, Food uh, insecurity is what they're talking about there. It's the, the issue there is getting food to this region, and then when it gets there, the quality of the food is, is, is just terrible. And so they're actually having to go out and still live in the, in the doing the country food um, that is seal, polar bear, um, Arctic char. And so that's one of the main issues in the Canadian Arctic. So it's going to be completely different as we travel here to Iceland. Yeah. So you've been up there and you've been talking to these people, Aaron. You know, what are they saying about how their, their world is changing and what they've seen certainly over the past uh, several years? Yeah, you know, even going back to uh, 2004 when I did a six-month expedition across the Arctic, um, what they're talking about is that why aren't people listening to us? Um, things are changing in a way that they, you know, it's, it's called traditional ecological knowledge. That knowledge has passed down from generation to generation. And they're experiencing things they've never experienced before. And I just like to give them that voice to be able to share it and to give them that voice that everyone needs to hear. And that's what they want to have, have uh, heard from everyone. All right, Aaron, always good to talk to you. And if Thanks, you want Aaron. more information, just Google Aaron Doring. He has a great website yeah. and Twitter. The guy is knowledgeable and so it's such a lovely family, too.